Hi, welcome to Fingernail Fixer video. Please forgive the background noises. This video was filmed in quarantine and I do live on a farm. For this video, let's play with alcohol inks. We're gonna start off with a black nail. Complete the black nail in your system of choice. I happen to use shellac. So this nail has been done with black pool and two layers and completed with top coat. Once you've completed your system with the gel polish of your choice, go ahead and apply the tack-free top coat that you like. Come in and apply your favorite chrome. Use the chrome method that you prefer. And then get a bit of good scrub to get it nice and shiny like a chrome nail should be. Once you have your nice shiny chrome nail, we're gonna do something crazy. We're gonna apply matte top coat. And here's where I like to keep the system together for the artwork. Since I'm going to be using profile inks from Profiles Backstage, you can find a link in the caption I'm going to use Profiles Matte Top Coat because I wanna keep the artwork systemized. Once the chrome is applied and scrubbed in, I would just apply my matte top coat that goes with the inks that I'm using and that's just a personal preference. If you have a matte top coat that you prefer, go ahead and use your favorite matte top coat. I just wanted to keep the system together for the artwork because I'm weird like that. Place that in the lamp to cure on the setting that it needs to cure for the lamp that you use. Once your nail is cured, you're ready to start adding the alcohol inks. For this look, we're going to attempt a shimmery tie-dye because it has the chrome backing behind it. It's gonna have some cool tie-dye. And you'll notice my alcohol is colored and that's because I'm using the same alcohol that I used in a previous video because alcohol is a little sparse right now with the whole COVID thing going on. For this design, I'm gonna use the Kiwi, which is a teal color the cherry, which is a red, and the lemon, which is yellow. Starting off with the lemon, just brushing some on at an angle. Then the red, Brushing some on also at an angle. And the cool thing about this is you can put it on pretty quickly. You don't have to be super picky about it. You just wanna be careful that you're keeping it off the skin because it will do a little bit of staining. And there you can see I've got my three angled swipes of the ink. Next we're going to grab a small detailing brush with a little bit of length to it and soak up some alcohol. Tap it on the side of the dish so that it's not flooded with alcohol, it's just got some soaked up. And just kind of come in and scrub a little line between the red and the yellow. So that they blend a little bit. Now when 
I start getting outlines like that, it means I'm a little too happy with the alcohol, so I'm just going to come back and smudge it out. Then I'm going to go down and do the exact same thing down here with the red and the blue, just kind of smudging them together to get that tie-dyed look. And the cool thing about the inks is because you're really kind of blending them together with that alcohol, they really have that fabric-y, blended together look that you get in the wash. And they even have that little bit of lighter and darker fade from that deconstructed texture that you also get from the tie-dye process. And it's a little bit mixing the blue and the red together so you'll a little, a little bit see a hint of some purple and the same thing with the red and yellow you'll see a hint of some orange and this is a time friendly design it's not super time consuming especially the more you play with it you'll kind of get used to picking that brush up and blending it with the alcohol then comes what I call the magic. You can top it with your favorite top coat. And what's magical about it is because we've put the inks over the top of the chrome, when we seal them with the top coat, the chrome pops back out. So we now have a tie-dyed look over the top of our chrome. And is that sweet or what? It just looks like a wicked color wash of chrome. And clients will absolutely love frolicking with this in the sunshine. If they're not bold enough to wear it on their fingers, it is absolutely game on for toes. And you will just pop this into your lamp, cure it for the normal amount of time that you would cure toes. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. Same if you have video suggestions. If you want to know the name of or where to find products used in the video, they are listed in the caption please subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you as a follower and it will also notify you when new videos become available. These were the inks used for this design. Again, they were from Profiles Backstage. And we will pull this out so you can see the finished look with the top coat cured. If you use a top coat that has a top film after curing, when you pull it out of the lamp, just scrub it clean with your alcohol. And they're good to go. I hope you had fun playing with the inks for me and you enjoyed tie-dyeing in holographic chrome style. Have a good time.